2024 Husqvarna Vipolin 401, a modern classic with enhanced performance and style. Her mobility has long set the standard in the lightweight motorcycle category, offering top-notch performance, adjustability, and technical features with models like the KTM RC390, a 2022 Cycle World 10 Best Winner, and the 390 Duke. Meanwhile, the Husqvarna Vipolin 401 and Svarpilen 401 have lagged behind since their introduction in 2018. Now, however, Husqvarna has unveiled completely redesigned 2024 versions of the Svarpilen 401 and Vipolin 401. These new models come with a host of significant upgrades. The engine has been revamped and now has a larger displacement increasing from 373 cubic centimeters to 399 cubic centimeters. The completely new chassis is both longer and wider, with a focus on improving torsional rigidity. The suspension has been upgraded to allow adjustments for compression, rebound, and preload. A new 5-inch color TFT display has also been added, featuring switchable ride modes, adjustable traction control, and adjustable ABS. These enhancements debuted on the 2024 KTM 390 Duke earlier this year, and the Husqvarna models now share in these advancements. What's the difference? Before diving into the technical specifics, let's explore what sets the Vipolin 401 apart from the Svarpilen 401. On paper, they're nearly identical, but a few differences mark one as a roadster and the other as a scrambler. These distinctions come down to three main features, styling, handlebar, and wheels and tires. Engine. Both models are powered by a new 399 cubic centimeters DOHC liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine, featuring a revised six-speed transmission, bi-directional quickshifter, and a PSC slipper clutch, producing 38.9 horsepower and 23.9 pound FT of torque on the Cycle World Dyno. Despite the increase in displacement, Husqvarna has managed to reduce engine weight compared to the previous 373 cubic centimeters version. Additionally, the new high-strength steel exhaust is 4.4 pounds lighter than the older model. Electronics The new electronic suite in both models includes two ride modes, street and rain, along with switchable traction control, switchable ABS, easy shift quick shifter, a speed limiter and Bluetooth connectivity. Each ride mode has a preset traction control setting. Though traction control can be turned off to allow riders to perform wheelies or slide through corners. The Vipolin 401 and Svarpilen 401 feature a cornering sensitive traction control system that gathers data via a 3D sensor for improved handling. The Bosch cornering sensitive ABS offers two modes. By default, both wheels have ABS enabled, but riders can navigate the dash menu to activate Supermoto ABS which reduces intervention at the front wheel and fully disables ABS at the rear wheel for a more dynamic riding experience. The Easy Shift feature functions as a bi-directional quick shifter, allowing for clutchless gear changes. When the system detects movement at the shifter, it momentarily reduces power to enable smooth gear transitions. Both bikes come standard with Husqvarna's connectivity unit, which enables Bluetooth connection to a smartphone. Through the Ride Husqvarna Motorcycles app, Riders can receive turn-by-turn -turn navigation, answer calls, and play music via a compatible communication device. The electronic suite is managed via a new 5-inch full-color TFT display. Suspension Though the Vipolin 401 is designed as a roadster and the Svarpilen 401 as a scrambler, both share the same adjustable WP Apex suspension. The front features a 43mm WP Apex open cartridge fork with 5.9 inches of travel, offering compression damping adjustment on the left leg and rebound damping on the right, with 5 clicks of adjustability on each. At the rear, a WP Apex shock with a progressive spring provides 5.9 inches of travel, along with rebound and preload adjustments, also offering 5 clicks of damping adjustability. The rear shock is offset to make room for the new airbox and to achieve the design goals of a lower seat height. It mounts directly to the redesigned swing arm, whose curved cast aluminum shape not only adds a modern look, but also creates additional space for a new silencer. Chassis. The all-new steel trellis frame is longer and wider than the previous model, enhancing torsional rigidity 
for improved stability and cornering. A new bolt-on subframe complements the updated frame and suspension, aligning with Husqvarna's vision to make the Vipolin 401 and Svarpilin 401 appear larger and more substantial on the road. Despite the larger footprint and a longer 53.9-inch wheelbase, seat height has been reduced to 32.3 inches for both models. The fuel tanks hold 3.4 gallons, and the braking systems are identical. Each bike is equipped with an opposed four-piston Vibri caliper and a 320mm disc at the front, and a dual-piston floating Vibri caliper with a 240mm disc at the rear. Wheels, tires, weights, and ergonomics. Here, the differences between the Vipolin and Svarpilin become clear. The Vipolin comes with 17-inch cast wheels fitted with Michelin Power 6 tires, a flat one-piece Roadster-style handlebar, and a claimed dry weight of 341 pounds, which measures 363 pounds on Cycle World's automotive scales. In contrast, the Svarpilin Scrambler setup includes 17-inch spoked wheels with Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, a taller moto-style handlebar, and a slightly higher dry weight of 351 pounds. With a full tank of fuel, the Svarpilin's weight is estimated to be around 373 pounds. Styling Styling between the two models is only slightly different. Despite having the same basic components, the Svarpilin features knobby tires along with a few additional styling pieces and accessories, making it suitable for gravel roads. But because these bikes are so similar, all of the additional styling pieces on the Svarpilin can be mounted to the Vidport. Both bikes utilize the same bodywork, but the Svarpilin 401 also features a fly screen, skid plate, fuel tank luggage rack, and two PC with a pillion grab handle. And to put a bow on it, both bikes feature full LED lighting with self-canceling turn signals. For bikes priced less than $6,000, riders receive a lot of bang for their buck. Riding impressions, Husqvarna's Vipolin and Svarpilin 401 are among the best in class. Together these bikes offer lightweight handling and easy maneuverability that the small displacement class typically provides, but add an injection of performance that pure mobility is known for. The new 399 cubic centimeters engine is better than the previous with a tractable low end, punchy mid-range, and strong top end. In city and urban areas, the throttle response is a little hesitant between 2,000 and 3,000 RPM. But in the canyons, where the RPM is generally higher, this sensation was unnoticeable. Once the engine is spun up past this threshold, throttle delivery is extremely direct in street mode and offers a surge of power at nearly every RPM. Racing up and down the Malibu Mountains, the Vipolin and Svarpilin 401 handle like little race bikes. Their quick revving 399 cubic centimeter single cylinder engine likes to be pushed to its nearly 10,000 RPM rev limiter before banging the next gear with the assist of the bi-directional quick shifter. The story is the same for entering a corner. Click a few clutchless downshifts, feather the brakes, and the slipper clutch will handle the rest. And for those who like to get sideways, turn on Supermoto ABS and try your best impression of Chris Fillmore, picture below. On the 401's ripping up a twisty back road is full gas and full brakes. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.